Honda launched the 5th Gen City back in July 2020. As everyone knows, the City Sedan has been Honda's bread and butter model in the ASEAN region. It is essentially the car that has kept Honda's cash register ticking for more than 20 years. Over the years, the car grew in size to such an extent that it made even the Civic redundant. This 2023 Honda City has been updated with a new facelift design. And as for its exterior, at the front, there is a new radiator grille and a redesigned bumper, while from the rear three-quarters angle, the city looks a lot sportier with the new diffuser. At the rear, there is a new bumper with a larger Fox diffuser, which houses the reflectors. The sides don't see any change other than the redesigned alloy wheels. Bumper features a larger air dam with the honeycomb mesh grille and reworked fog lamp housing. Front lip gets Fox carbon fiber detailing and has two sharp protruding fangs that are easy to nick on curbs reminds us of the old Jetta. As for its tires, it still has 16-inch dual-tone alloy wheels that have been redesigned. The new diffuser gets carbon fiber detailing and extends the protrusion outward, extending the car's length. Reflectors are now horizontally oriented. In terms of its interior design, it looks largely identical to the pre-update version. However, higher spec versions get a new instrument cluster. It adapts the Civic V's partially digital display, which allows it to show more information to the driver. As for its technology, the new city still has wireless, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, new wireless charging, quality rear cameras, and high-quality texture leather seats. In terms of its engine, the new city carries over unchanged in the powertrain department. It continues using the familiar 1.5-liter iVTEC engine that makes 119 horsepowers and 145 nanometers of torque. There's a hybrid option too, with the total system output of 124 horsepowers and 253 nanometers of torque. The most significant update here is the addition of Fonda Sensing. Yes, even City gets the brand's active safety package standard these days. At least for the top variants, that means it gets adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation warning, lane keep assist, and lead car departure warning. As for its release to the other ASEAN countries, including the Philippines, there's no word yet on its local launch, and you can bet that Honda Cars Philippines is working double time to bring it here.